Can you believe this is the new normal? This is the new way to go out and do your shopping and like, this is the new everyday life thing. Yes, believe this? Crazy. All right, I'm gonna update you guys again on the COVID-19 uh, status here in Spain, what's gonna happen, how they're gonna reopen. And I know you're probably asking my man, where are you at? I'm actually in my kid's room because they're in the living room, which I usually use to record these videos, and my wife is in the kitchen making homemade pizza. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna actually got actualize you guys on what's happening here in Spain. So let's get to it. All right, before we get started, check this out. Check this out right here. Look. What? Check it. Isn't that crazy? What that does is this little frame on the bulb. Look at that. Damn, it does that little thing right there. Anyways, you guys, let's get to it. Let me explain to you. Let me let me try to see if I can get this camera here. All right, let me explain to you guys what's happening here in Spain and what is the reopening of Spain consist of, how many faces, and when is it starting, etc. And when you can actually visit Spain or when we can actually go out of Spain. Now, if you're watching from the United States, you're seeing that Mr. President Trump already reopened America with his new plan of reopening America. Here in Spain, Mr. President Sanchez is also reopening Spain with a four-phase plan. Now, the four phases start already on May 4th. They start on phase zero, one, two, and three. Now, I'm not gonna read the whole article because it's quite a long article here, but I am gonna link it on the description below. It's in Spanish, but you can right-click and then translate it to English, or if you know any other language, you can always copy and paste it on Google Translate, and then you, you, know, you get the idea, you know? Thanks, Captain Obvious. So, I mean, he's gonna briefly tell you guys what I read on the article. Uh, starting May 4th, basically, um, shopping malls will not be open. Uh, doctors and all that other stuff will not be open. Uh, they will only be open by appointment. So, for example, if you have an appointment to a dentist, you can go only on the time that you are obviously for the appointment. Other than that, you cannot be there. Uh, also, they will reopen some bars, but only the outdoor part. And restaurants will also reopen and, and you will have to maintain a two meter distance from the people next to you. I'm still baffled by that actual like news. How are you going to go to the restaurant? How are you going to go to the bar with your friends and be two meters apart from each other? What? I mean, the point of going to the bar or to the restaurant with your buddies is to like... What's up, you know, hang out, chill, drink a beer, drink some pinchos, talk about what happened in the quarantine, what you thought was good, what you thought was bad, what you thought was funny, what series you watch on Netflix, what you watch on Disney, plus, you know, Baby Yoda, etc. whatever, you know, and we're gonna be two meters apart from each other, like, what? Like, yo, I still don't get that part, but whatever, you know, it, to each their own, the government, that's what it says they're, they're doing, we're supposed to follow these guidelines, obviously, but here in Spain, I doubt some people will actually follow those guidelines. Not to bash them, but I just know that's what can happen. But anyways, hotels will not open until probably mid-May. They're going to open and they can only take in one-fourth or one-third of their capacity. And you cannot travel outside of the country. You are only allowed to go uh, traveling or do your vacationing inside the country and around your state area until the end of May. Other than that, you're pretty much still stuck at home. You do have to still wear gloves. You do still have to wear masks. And there will be a preferable time to attend the elderly uh, away from the other people because they are doing these phases as an experiment. Basically, what they're doing is they're saying, here, people, we're going to let you guys do this after May 4th. From May 4th to May 11th, we're gonna see how things are with the pandemic and the, you know, the numbers, if they spike up again, or if they go down, etc. And then we're gonna to move to phase number two. And then after that, etc., etc. And if the numbers start spiking up again, then we're back to square one and we're back to being locked up and house, on house arrest. So, yes, it's crazy. But this is the world we live in. This is the world where we have to wear face masks every time we go outside, where I have to buy face masks for my little ones because when they go outside, they have to wear that. And now I'm having to look for gloves for them too because they have to wear gloves too because they're little kids. They're going to want to touch everything they see and around them. So 
it's a crazy world we live in, but that's the way things are. Now, I would like it if you in the comments will let me know what is going on in your part of the world. Maybe let me know what reopening phases your government is taking or what closing phases your government is taking if you're barely starting with this pandemic or what the heck is going on period in your community in your area how are you keeping safe how are the government keeping you safe and what things are happening around your part now i'm not gonna read the whole you know article again the link is gonna be on the description you can watch it there but you guys I'm not gonna stop saying this every video that I make. You need to stay home if you are watching this and you wanna maintain yourself safe. However, they are if they are reopening the country and you have to go to work or you have to do whatever you have to do, maintain the distance that they're asking you to maintain. Stay safe, be smart, and like seriously pray and hope that everything can all go back to normal. Now, I am not gonna take my family to a restaurant. I am not gonna take my family to a bar or hang out with buddies if they call me and say, hey, let's go get a beer. Yeah, no, I'll pass, thank you. Uh, we, can just, we can just do a Zoom meeting and we can have a beer through Zoom, but that's it. I'm not gonna go to expose myself because I think that there will be no such thing as a normal life or back to normality unless we have a vaccine that can actually keep us immune from this COVID-19. Now. To each their own, to people, whoever they want to do. Uh, obviously, my wife eventually will have to end up going back to her office, back to her place of work. And I don't know what the company is going to do to maintain them safe. And it's kind of scary because then she has to come back home and we have to keep, you know, in contact with her and etc. So, I don't know. It's, it's just a really weird world we live in right now, so you guys. So, I don't know. It's crazy. I'm really, really praying, really hoping that everything can go back to normal by the end of the year. But I highly, highly doubt it, especially with the CDC and the WHO saying that, oh, hey, you know, come fall season, come winter season, COVID-19 might come back with a vengeance and, oh, you know, get, it's going to be worse than this time because in the flu season and the COVID season, and they're going to, you know, you know, get married and hug each other out and boom, this huge, like, pandemic worldwide, you know. Oh, my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Everybody just Calm down. Chaos is gonna happen during fall season, winter season, and they're pretty much saying you're f, you're sorry, I'll just say the word. You're pretty much s o l. If you know what that means, then I'll leave it up to you. If you don't know what it means, Google it. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, you guys, I'm not gonna keep ranting anymore. Um, I'm just gonna say that I'm thankful. I mean, I guess, right? I'm thankful that the government is reopening in a way. I'm thankful that things are going back to normal in a way. I'm thankful that some stores are going to open. I'm thankful that the barbershops are going to open because, um, yeah, you know, I'm just thankful that in a way things are going back to normal. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that little bell to click the little subscribe button and then uh if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys i i really appreciate you guys we are already uh getting close to 1200 subscribers in this channel and just i am really 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 happy you guys actually found this channel uh entertaining informative and i really really appreciate all of you that subscribe to the channel i will be making more videos on this channel about the life here in spain uh and also help you guys uh because I've, I've got a lot of comments i've got a lot of messages on instagram about why did you move to spain how did you move to spain what does it take to move to spain do you have to know spanish do you have to blah 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 and this and that so I want to help you guys out if you're planning to move to Spain, uh, so you can get the uh, you know the info and whatnot and uh, and you know the uh, the everything on here in Spain. With that being said, uh, uh, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for leaving me a comment on what's going on in your area. And please, 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 I cannot stress this enough. Stay safe. Be safe. Be smart. Wear a face mask. Wear gloves. Stay the, the distance that you have to stay from each other, and uh, and let's just uh, let's just all get through this together. With that being said, I'm Jose Velasquez reporting for Sway Vlogs. Until next time, peace.